Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. I just recorded this, well, I just shot this um, vlog what I'm going to do right now, but I didn't replace record, so that sucks. Anyhow, so let's talk about the the downside of being too detached from your code base. Now, in a previous vlog, the one I did just before this, that was recorded, I talked about how when you get more advanced and experienced in your software development career, you may get into architecture where you're going to get detached from the day-to-day -day coding process. Now, this is cool and there's advantages to that. Now, there's also some disadvantages, so I'm going to suggest a middle ground here. Now, the advantage of pulling away from the code base is that you can start looking at the code. You can start looking at the app, rather, from the point of view as a user more, but as an expert developer as well. So you have the best of both worlds, and I think that was the strength of Steve Jobs. He was able to, uh, he wasn't a coder, but he was able to look at apps from the point of view uh, and, and, and devices from the point of view of a user. And that played a big role in why they were so usable and so on. And he's also a minimalist, which is also a good thing as well. Uh, coding, by the way, is a process of like not so much painting, where you're adding layers and layers of paint to build your painting. It's more like sculpting, where you're pulling away all the excess, all this, the stuff that you don't need, and you're streamlining. Think about your code that way. It's about pulling away excess, streamlining. If you do that, you're going to produce much better apps in the end. Simpler the code, simpler the architectures, better your apps. Anyhow, so at one point, if you become more advanced and you start developing, uh, you start getting into the role of architecture and you're not involved in the day-to-day -day coding because you don't have time, it's also good so that you can look at your app from a different perspective. The downside of that is that you're going to be uh, detached from the code and unless you have some really good coders working under you, that can lead to a bunch of problems. So I've experienced this myself. And it's difficult when you pull away from the code to take on an architectural role to go back in again because it's a different mindset, at least for me. So the psychology is different and you just don't want to actually to a certain extent. But what you should be doing if you become that architect, if you will, you start pulling away from that code, day-to-day -day coding, which sometimes you're going to have to do, especially as your app becomes more successful. I would suggest that you uh, do code inspections, if you once a, once a month, once every two weeks, whatever it is. You spend a half an hour going over the code, going over the architectural decisions, going over all these things with your lead developer or developers, and so you can look at it and make sure that they're not doing something that could cause you a lot of problems down the road in terms of performance and so forth. Uh, by the way, a little tangent here. Uh, I had a recent event with some performance in an app and it, the, old, the old bottleneck still exists for the most part. Database is the most expensive in terms of server resources. It's the most expensive aspect of web apps. Opening up database connections, managing large sets of data. That is always, has been, and still is today, uh, the most problematic area of app development, especially web apps. Most web apps are backed by databases. So uh, be cognizant of that and uh, be careful how you design your database. Make sure your database is designed in such a way so it can scale and so forth. Again, let me point out as I pointed out in other vlogs, that doesn't mean you should build a semi when you just need a van to start your project, but you should be at least aware of the fact that the database is usually the bottleneck in terms of most apps. So keep that in mind. For a lot of you, it doesn't really matter, but just you gotta be mindful of that. All right, back to the subject at hand. So as you become architect in app development, you're gonna pull away. But what I would suggest, don't pull away totally unless you have really top coders working for you who understand how you think things should be structured and laid out in your apps. But you should get in there once a month, spend a half an hour with your coders, say, show me what you've done, show me what you've done, any changes to the database, what are you doing in terms of architecture, what frameworks you're using, what libraries, how have you implemented it, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. This way you're not totally detached from what's going on with the code base so you don't run into trouble down the road and also it's just good to have an experienced coder review code 
uh, even on a superficial level, even on a higher level, architectural level. So you may not be coding every day, you may not be coding at all in the system, but it's good just to peek your nose into things every once in a while, and it might avoid uh, disaster for you.